everyone and welcome back to my channel for today's video we are unboxing the fall 2023 fabfitfun box it is massive and i'm really excited about some of the items inside so let's jump right into it if that's something you're into make sure to keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe because i upload uh twice a week and that'll be the best way to stay up to date and all the fun stuff i'm posting so if you want to jump into all of the pumpkin spice and everything nice from this fall fabfitfun stay tuned Jumping right in, as with all FabFitFuns, this is $47.99 every three months. There are four seasonal boxes a year. This was sent to me in PR for reviewing purposes, but this is not sponsored. They're not paying me to do this. They did give me the code BRETT20 if you want to save 20% off your uh, order, but that's not a commission code. I'm not making any money off of it. It is just a coupon for you. Just like if I was a paying subscriber, I did get to pick the items in my box, and I'm really excited to share what I selected. I am going to empty the box onto my desk because this is bulky and kind of difficult. This item is from Alice and Olivia by Stacey Bennett. It is a duffel bag sack disport. Uh, this is, I got it in the pinstripe because it was either this or I believe a brown color. And I really love a good duffel, especially like, Gym bags, travel bags, lightweight, love a good duffel. So this was the first item I selected. In person, I wish it didn't have the rose gold hardware. I wish it was like silver, but it is a super smooth zipper. It is a canvas bag. Really excited for this. Next, from Summer Fridays, this is the Lip Butter Balm in the shade or color Vanilla Beige. I don't know if there's actually a color to it or if it's just um the flavor but we're gonna try it out it does have a little tint to it but we're gonna try it out anyway that is a very pretty like beigey rosy nude it doesn't look like a ton of color it doesn't look like a ton of pigment but it does look really nice and it feels amazing super super soft on the lips and i'm definitely getting that vanilla scent that is really good summer fridays has some decent stuff i've been pleasantly surprised. The only thing I didn't like was the jet lag mask. It caused like really intense like breakouts for me. But other than that, I liked it when I tried it and then they changed the formula and then it broke me out. But this is wonderful. Next, this is from Cuccio. This is the Botani, Botani Cals. It's botanicals. The word is botanicals. Hand and body wash in the shade Sandalwood and Sage. I love the blend of like florals and woods and I thought sandalwood and sage sounded so good and I don't like this not so much sandalwood and sage but like I don't know it almost smells like skunky pot like not for me I'm gonna pass on that I do not like the way that smells mm -mm. all right we're gonna just move on this is from the brand Obi and this is a olive green crossbody bag. I know the second I want to start it and I like want to try that, I won't have a bag to do it. So I definitely wanted to snag this one. It also comes with a free month of classes from their app with a QR code to try it out. So that's kind of exciting. On-demand workouts and programs to keep you moving. Not bad. Um, also, it is hand wash only which is totally fine. Definitely a decent size with some pockets for like wallet, cell phone, and things like that. I don't know, I don't know why, but like, I don't love carrying a bag. I'm fine with like a backpack, but I'm really into the crossbody trend and I feel like I need to try it. And Brandon has been talking about wanting one and I have gotten him a black one, but we wear a lot of olive green. So that's gonna be fun to try. The last two items are the ones I was absolutely the most excited for. The first is from Free People, and it is the 1809 Lodge Candle, and the scent is Palo Santo and Patchouli, and that smells delicious. It's almost like desert vibes. Oh, that is wonderful. I am really excited to burn this. Um, I... Lately have been, I mean, I burn candles all the time. You know I am a candle junkie. 
In the past, I used to get really upset when a candle didn't burn evenly. Then I picked up the little warmer behind me. And now if it doesn't burn evenly, I just put it under that and I use the wax melt and then there's no problem. So this smells great. I love the amber bottle jar. Very like autumn colors. I know this is the fall box, so that makes sense. And I think this will go really well with like pumpkin spice. And the last, items, last item is from the brand Citrine. And it is the Canyon Collection by the brand Magenta. And it is a set of two spice jars. And I don't know where I want to put these or what I'm going to do with them, but they are really cute. So it is a two pack and they are these like stone terracotta jars. Ignore the little white fuzzies. It was set in um, styrofoam so that it didn't break. And now it just has all these little flakes all over it. The top is stone on both sides. The inside is a finished ceramic. So if you did want to put like salt and pepper or herbs and spices in here, you absolutely can. It is a two pack and I believe the two are identical. They are. So it's not something where you would want to put this out and have it be like salt and pepper because you won't really know which one is which. But they are really cute and I like that they're more of like a brown terracotta than they are like a red terracotta. They're re like, I don't know where I'm going to put them, but I know I like them and I know I want to put them somewhere. This is going to be like a massive shock. Anybody who watched me back when I lived in Florida, my, my design, everything was all white and minimalist. There was no color anywhere. It was a little sterile, but I loved it. And in my new place here in Chicago, there's actually, there's not a lot of color, but there's a little bit of color. Um, there are pops of color here and there. There's a lot of black and a lot of white and a ton of brown. But having these like earth tones mixed in, like you guys will remember from my first studio ever, everything was white with the striped black and white curtains. It was super simplistic and super beautiful and very chic. But now I'm incorporating more of those elements of like warm tones and browns and it just makes the space feel a little bit homier. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but I'm going to figure it out. But they're cute, right? So obviously the soap is going to be a pass from me. You know, the challenge with these like FabFitFun boxes where you get to pick all the products is you know what's coming. So it's not like you're going to be upset with the products you picked, but there's always that chance you won't like it. I really like the way this lip feels. I also really like the way it looks as like a nudie, just even your lips out kind of color. The candle smells phenomenal. These little jars, like I need to figure out where they're going because they are super cute. I feel like... Actually, this might be cute, like, by the front door with keys in it. I don't, I don't know. Let me know in the comments where you think I should put these and what I should do with them, because I have no idea. And then the two bags, I think I'm most excited for the crossbody as opposed to the duffel, but you can never have too many bags. I actually just got back from a trip to New York and threw out a bag because I broke it, and it was like 20 years old, so not that big a deal, but I'm glad I have a replacement. But this was a really good box. Again, you can use the code BRECT20 to get 20% off. Not a commission, not sponsored, but this is such a cool box and I love that you get to pick the products you're going to get. So for me, that is a win. As always, let me know your thoughts down below. I would love to hear it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.